Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, coming to you from the AES Show 2023. I've got something super cool for you to check out. The return of Fairchild, thanks to Tony Fishman. Great to see you. Thank you, thanks uh, for having us. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to show it. I know a lot of people want to check this out because you have gone through, this had to be just a labor of love to absolutely recreate the original Fairchild. And the last five years kind of unfolded uh, um, quickly. Um, and uh, through the pandemic, I had a little extra time because the trade show schedule was kind of thrown off. So kind of dug in with this with a dear friend of mine. Uh, and we began uh, first experimenting with the transformers and basically uh, from vintage originals, reverse engineering in the same manner we did uh, a lot of the Telefunk and stuff. Nice. Um, you know, for, for, for 23 years we've been doing Telefunken and this is like my first departure from, from microphones into, into recording equipment. Uh -huh. um, and uh, quite, a, quite a surprise to be able to be able to use the name. Yeah. A lot of people have a lot of questions about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't buy the name. The name was abandoned in the same way the Telefunken brand was uh, 23 years ago when I was able to refound Telefunken. So um, we basically uh, found out originally I was going to build them as Telefunken, and then uh, we kind of got the green light. You know, Avid uh, was very kind to kind of say we could coexist. Um, they have a plug-in license for Fairchild. Okay. So that was the one hurdle to kind of get over and they were really kind to us and they said as long as you're doing analog circuits, you got a green light. So nice. uh, um, I can show you the inside, but uh, yeah, I'd love to take the, a look the, at the, uh, the architecture of this is just like a vintage original. Um, and uh, there are a lot of other products out on the market that have a front panel that looks like this, mm -hmm. but this is all point to point and um, it uses a similar turret style construction as the vintage original and it's all the same architecture layout um, the owner's manual from a vintage original is this verbatim the same uh, owner's manual for, for, for the new unit um, all the test points from vintage original are the are the same uh, wow. we're setting the DC offset voltage uh, I think it's pin eight off the EL34, and you adjust the DC offset voltage to 240 volts. It's like the, the starting voltage. But these come all calibrated from uh, our offices in Connecticut. So we'll go through and burn them in and QC them and uh, get them ready to ship. And they ship in, uh, in a beautiful wooden crate. I wanted to make sure we could get them anywhere, anywhere in the world someone wanted one nice. um, safely. So. Um, well, uses, is, it uses all the same tubes as the vintage original, and uh, the transformers uh, are basically uh, took a little bit of time to get everything to really be in spec and sound like it should. Um, I was in Nashville uh, at uh, Mc, John McBride Studio. And I visited a couple friends down there, and I listened to an uh, Ocean Way string section through this. Mm -hmm. And I had like this moment that I've never had with any other piece of gear. It was just really, really uh, amazing what this sounds like, uh, whether it be on the mix bus or on an individual instrument. Mm -hmm. um, this thing with strings is scary good. Wow. Um, I've had a lot of uh, friends use it. Everyone who's heard it kind of falls in love with it. I've loaned them uh, to a couple friends to try in their studio and, and I have trouble getting them back. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. So there's the, the two channel and then is there a single channel yes, as well? Yes, we're, 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 we're already uh, taking orders for the 660. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope to have uh, the first batch of 20 660s available at NAMM. Nice. Um, and over the next month or two, we're going to be basically going through all of the uh, pre-production for getting the first units together. Um, in January, we'll be shipping basically 2660s and 2670s. Nice. And uh, we're really, really proud to be able to work with Sweetwater. Uh, we Absolutely. had a great relationship with uh, Telefunken and, and now to start a new relationship with a new company. 
uh, it's really awesome. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations. We are super excited. I know you're heading out to Sweetwater after the show, and we're going to yeah. get a little hands-on time and yeah. ears-on time. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to visiting uh, Sweetwater Studio. and uh, and We're going to put it through the paces. Yeah, I mean, this one's really an interesting thing because uh, I want to really give the great, greatest customer service. You know, there are a lot of tricky details with the Fairchild, with having 20 tubes in it and right. knowing, you know, uh, basically how to set it up how to adjust it. Um, we're going to have authorized service in California, Connecticut, and Nashville for uh, domestic. And uh, I'm working on uh, some things in Europe for for international. But right, uh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate you showing us. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, compressor limiter. Can't wait to hear it. Well, I can't wait for you to hear it because I know you've. You've checked out a lot of the other, yeah. the other ones, so yeah. I can't wait to, to to actually take the take a drive with these in the studio together and fun. do some comparisons. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, yeah. You too. And thank you for joining us here at AES 2023. We're coming to you from the Fairchild booth with our friend Tony. The new Fairchild's fantastic. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater.